So what I'm going to show you that I've done is uh, installing this Walbro 255 inside the factory sending unit on the S10. So I can't take credit for this. I found instructions for this online first before doing it, but um, I did not see a video on it, so I decided to go ahead and make one. So I bought the kit from Summit Racing. Uh, it came with this little hose, a new O-ring, a new filter, and the pump itself, which I've already kind of stuck into place. And it came with a connector that plugs right into the factory one uh, to plug into the new fuel pump. So what I did was there was a little circular piece down at the bottom of this and a little half moon piece just below it that the factory fuel pump sat down in um, and then the filter was on the bottom and there was actually another filter inside here this one was the one that was sitting down inside so what I did was I used a Dremel tool and cut that little half moon piece on the other piece out flush with the bottom and then I actually elongated it right here um, I had to go buy another section of hose because this hose that came with it was too short. So I needed to buy another hose. That's this. And then I used my Dremel tool also to drill a couple holes in the side for a, um, zip tie to fit down in there. That was the word I was looking for. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drop this assembly down in there. Uh, before working on it, I removed the uh, sending unit as well so I wouldn't damage that. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down in and then show you how to connect uh, the fuel filter. So I have not zipped down my zip tie yet, but I wanted to go ahead and show you um, what's going on here. So as you can see, this protrudes down through the bottom now, which is good because now I can stick my fuel pump filter on there. And that really should be it um, as far as this getting, getting this thing in there. Uh, just a couple side notes here. These two clips on either side, you push those in and pull everything out. Um, there's a plug right up there. The plug that goes down into the um, fuel pump itself. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share a video with you guys showing you what is there, what you're going to have to do, what you're going to have to modify um, to get that Walbro 255 in. From here, it's just a matter of reconnecting everything and slapping it back down inside your gas tank and you're ready to roll so just a heads up everyone the zip tie seemed like a good idea but it would not fit it back into the fuel tank with a zip tie there um, the rubber part that's up in here i reused the rubber that was there from the uh, factory fuel pump and that thing's nice and tight in there i don't think it's going to go anywhere so i'm just going to stick it back in the fuel tank i think we'll be just fine